guys welcome back to world's illuminate 11 on this friday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session which is all about regaining your power or standing in your power as a divine masculine or a divine feminine you can contact me via my email my details are in the description box below and uh yesterday we had a couple we had some powerful messages that were coming through you know i did a message that was checking in with the love what you needed to know when it comes to the love do check that out some beautiful messages that were coming in and then also i did like an almost personal reading that was checking in to see what is going on with you and with your divine masculine as well what's coming in for your journey and it was showing that the divine masculine is walking away from the things that they need to walk away from and you know and there is hope for the future when it comes to your journey you know that new beginning is coming in and there is hope for the future for this new beginning so do check that out if you haven't seen it and also um just before i start the cards i'm doing an energy check-in as we move into the weekend to see what messages are coming through i just also wanted to say next week friday um, a week from today i am actually going to do my second live um uh, my uh, live for the channel and you know it's sort of um like a valentine's day um uh, sort of live in a way um and it's you know to bring in some messages for you as well for, from your divine masculine um, you know, because, you know, uh, for many people, like on Valentine's Day, you may not get a message, but this is to bring you a message as well from your divine masculine, but also, you know, just a message in general, if you just wanted to check in and get a message from your divine masculine, not necessarily for Valentine's, but it's like a Valentine's Day special. And I took a day off on that day. I was going to go somewhere with a friend, but things didn't work out. So I am going to be around and I thought this would be a great day to sort of of bring in my second live and um and so i'm just announcing it i will i don't know exactly what time i will do it because obviously it's my day off i would like to make some time for me as well but i will be doing it at some point on friday and i will announce the time closer to 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 the day but i just wanted to let you know that that is coming in as well so we are going to check in to see what um what is going on with the energy for the divine masculines and the divine feminines we're bringing in the light seers tarot today so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines what is going on with the divine masculines and then what is going on with the divine feminines thank you angels what else is going on with the divine feminines what is going on with the divine feminine thank you angels what else is going on with the divine feminines what else is going on with the divine feminines on this deck okay and then we're also going to bring in uh the uh, the sacred traveler deck so thank you angels for the divine masculine what do we need to know what do we need to know for the divine masculine what else do we need to know for the divine masculine from this deck anything else Think that's that and then for the divine feminines thank you angels what do we need to know let's take that again what do we need to know for the divine feminines thank you angels as we move into this weekend what do we need to know for the divine feminines okay and we're also going to bring in a message from the divine mas message masculine messages tarot so thank you angels for the divine masculines what do we need to know okay anything else for the divine from the divine masculines okay i think that's that and we'll also bring in today some messages from the divine masculine the silence deck see what they would like you to know so thank you angels what messages are coming through from the divine masculines to the divine feminines wow okay and any other messages from the divine masculines to the divine feminines from this deck any other messages from the divine masculines okay and we'll finish off with a message from you the divine feminine as well with the divine feminine messages of love so thank you angels what messages do the divine feminines have for their divine masculines on this day okay so let's see what cards have come out here so from the light seers tarot so the cards that came out from the for the divine masculines so the first card that i we have here is the tower 
So this is showing you that there is some sort of some chaos that may be happening in your divine masculine's life. You know, some chaos that is there to bring in certain changes. You know, things that may be happening, sort of certain things sort of may be falling apart so that they can be able to bring in change and bring in transformation as well to move forward towards the life that they truly desire. So they may be facing certain situations going on in their life right now to help to bring in the change, to help to move them forward to was the life with you their divine feminine so that can be on their 3d world and then the next card that has come out for the divine masculine is the judgment card so really powerful that this has come out and that makes sense as well with the tower card that has come out you know this is about that sort of change and you know your divine masculine getting to that place where they are going through this time of sort of like a review of their life you know walking away from things that are not working out things that are falling apart so that they can be able Able to move forward towards the life that they are truly here to live as you can see this is sort of like you know an uplifting sort of moving away from you know sort of moving further ahead on their path as well so that's about that change that is coming in to help them to be able to move forward to like the next chapter of their life uplifting themselves as well you know to the next chapter of their life so there is that sort of judgment like a change and you know the ending of a cycle to start a new chapter of their life that is happening that is coming in for the divine masculine and then the next card that has come in as well for the divine masculine is the death card so really powerful is the death and the rebirth card. So this is showing you that there's clearly some change that is happening. You know, they're going through a time of awakening, the ending of their old life where certain things may be, you know, like the tower came in about to change. And, you know, and that is there to bring in transformation, to bring in, you know, a change as they are going through this time of judgment as well, this time of really sort of moving forward to the next chapter of their life. So there's a rebirth that is happening for the divine masculine to help them to be able to change their life and be able to move forward to um you know to start to start afresh so there is this rebirth that is happening for the divine masculine to help them to be able to move forward towards the life that they are truly here to live and the next card that has come out for them is the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles is all about balance so you know all these things are happening to bring in some balance within the divine masculine's life you know for them to find balance in all areas of their life but this is also about balancing giving and receiving so you know this may be in relation to your journey as well is whatever is happening in their life is to help them to get to a place where they are more balanced and are able to give and receive within the relationship with you in equal measures so you know those changes are coming in if it is something happening in their you know karmic situation to bring in a change so that when they are you know they can have that life with you you know that when it comes in at the right time for for the both of you and they are able to be in a situation where they are not in another relationship they are giving and receiving fully in this relationship with you so there is change that is happening to help them to get to this place of the balance in their own lives and then the next card that came out for the divine masculine as well is the knight of pentacles and this is about a positive eventual outcome so this is showing you a divine masculine is moving forward towards you you know even if there's stuff going on in their life they're going through this time of rebirth that is helping them to move forward towards you and there is going to be that positive eventual outcome of them being with you their divine feminine when it comes to this love so it is all coming in and you know there is going to be that eventual positive outcome and and also the knight of wands has come in and that's going to bring in celebration as well this is about that fire and passion as well you know your divine masculine moving forward towards you being coming more balanced in themselves and moving forward towards that life with you and that's about them being happy and excited you know that's about that fire and passion of being in the life that they truly desire as well and the last card that came out is another knight it's the knight of swords so you know there are certain things that are happening in their life right now and when they are ready they are going to rush forward towards you because there is that fire and passion within them they want their life to change you know that's why the judgment card is coming in which is all about that change to help them 
to move forward to the life that they are truly here to live that life with you as well and that's why that rebirth is happening for them as well so that they can be able to move forward towards you there is going to be that positive eventual outcome of that life with you their divine feminine and at the right time they are going to rush towards you to tell you of the love that they have for you so those are the cards that have come out from this deck for the divine masculines and then the cards that came out for you the divine feminine so the first card that has come out for you is the queen of cups so this is you as the divine feminine you know you are in your power and you know you are connected to to heaven as well you know sensitive you have that love for your divine masculine as well but you are in the place of patience you understand that certain things have to happen for your divine masculine first for them to get to be with you and you are understanding you are patient you're open as well to this love and you're trusting that it is all coming in at this at the right time so this is you in your power as a divine feminine and being that loving and open divine feminine who's ready to receive this love as well and then the cards the next card that came out for you is the eight of cups so you may be walking away from certain situations as well in your life you may be ending certain karmic situations in your life to help you to move forward towards that life with your divine masculine because you know there is going to be that positive eventual outcome so there may be certain things that you're leaving behind as well to be able to live the life that you truly desire and you are leaving certain things behind because you are on your spiritual path you know this is the hierophant this is you being in your spiritual path you are in your power especially with that queen of cups uh card that has come in as well you know you are sensitive you are connected uh to the creator you are on your spiritual path and you know and this is about you really sort of continuing to keep moving forward on your path and with that faith and trust as well that the more you're keep staying on this path the more you're bringing in all the things that you truly desire and the last card that came out for you is the will and this is showing you that fate and destiny is moving things forward when it comes to this love for you when it comes to your life as well so you know everything is is happening you know things are happening with your divine masculine you know that sort of rebirth coming in for them that's all part of fate and destiny the creator moving things forward so that you come together at the right time so things are moving in a positive direction you know when it comes comes to this love with your divine masculine and that is moving things forward for you to come together at the right time and at the right time your divine masculine will remove or rush towards you to tell you of that love that they have for you so you're being shown here that you know fate and destiny has got this and everything is moving forward and then the cards that came out from the uh from the divine masculine um from the divine masculine messages tarot so the first card that came out is the empress and the, it says here i know who you are your nurturing power is guiding me home so really powerful that this has come out your divine masculine knows who you are they are moving forward towards you there is going to be that positive eventual outcome you are guiding them home the more you are sitting in your power you know you've got that love that you have for your divine masculine you are open to this love however you are also patient because you're trusting them to find their way you know they are know who you are they feel that power that comes from you they feel the light that is shining from you as well you know and they're following this light to you uh, their divine feminine you know and to their to, to you are their home and they're saying to you your nurturing power is guiding me home so they are moving forward towards you they know you are their empress they you are their queen and they are on their way to you and uh, so that's what they're letting you know here and the next card that came out for is the three of swords so this is about that sort of sadness that missing you as well i'm finding it hard to be away from you right now but i know that i am healing so your divine masculine is knowing that you know the fact that they are away from you if they find it hard and they're saying to you this to you you know they have that sadness of not being with you but they know that this is a time for them to heal to go through the changes that they need to go through to go to walk away from what they need to walk away from 
so that they can be with you. And that is what is happening as they go through this time of rebirth. So they are understanding this and that's what they're letting you know, that they are healing so that they can be able to move forward towards you. And they're also saying to you, the three of cups, prepare for celebration. You know, prepare for a celebration because they are coming forward towards you. They are going to rush to you to tell you how they feel. So they're saying to you, prepare for that celebration because I am coming. And you know, we will have the chance to celebrate you know, as soon as I'm ready right now, I am still, I am just healing. I'm going through this time of rebirth and, you know, changing certain things in my life so I can be with you. So really powerful that those have come out. And then the cards that came out from this uh, sacred traveler deck from the divine mask for the divine masculines. The first one is staying focused and it says holds the course. So really powerful. That's your divine masculine. You know, with all everything, you know, there may be some chaos going on in their life. They're missing you, but they're holding the course. They have the vision. They're staying focused. They want to be with you, their divine feminine. They know who you are. You know, they're following the guiding light that is leading them to you. And they're saying, they are showing you here that they're staying focused. You know, they are focused on the vision of the life that they truly desire with you. And they're holding the course. They are moving forward towards you and they will be that position positive eventual outcome and the next card that came out is traveling lightly and it says simplify your life so this is what your divine masculine is working on doing right now you know they're working on getting more balanced in themselves as well they're working on walking away from the things that no longer serve them the certain burdens that they've had all this time in their life you know the fears the things that are holding them back back they are working on releasing all these working on releasing karmic situations so that they can travel lightly towards you their divine feminine they're simplifying their life as they go through this time of judgment where they're living behind the old life and stepping up to their new life and they're simplifying their life they're letting go of all that needs to go from their life as they go through this time of healing so that they can move forward towards you be able to be in a relationship where they're giving and receiving in equal measures with you so they're working on traveling lightly right now they're working on simplifying their life letting go of what needs to go karmic situations you know certain what negativity the things that no longer serve them in their life and they're simplifying their life as they move forward towards you their divine feminine so that's what came out for the divine masculines and then what came out for you the divine feminine is grounding and it says, go deep, explore your roots. So this can be about you going out in nature as well as the weekend as we are moving into this weekend. You know, you may be wanting to go out in nature to ground yourself as well, to just really sort of feel more connected to Mother Earth and just ground yourself. If you're getting any fears, any worries coming in, you know, clear your mind, go out in nature to help you to ground yourself and to also just feel calmer as well. But then go deep, explore your roots. This is about you going more within, you know, diving deeper into yourself doing that series that we're doing unleash your authentic divine feminine self you know exploring who you truly are so this is about getting to know yourself more as well and then the last card that came out for you from this deck is forked in Go, go slow take time so you're also being shown that there is no need to rush when it comes to anything you know you take your time with everything know that everything is working out exactly as it is meant to work out even your journey you know there is no need to rush when it comes to your twin flame journey so you know everything may be going slow but that's because everything is coming in is being perfectly um, prepared to come in in the right way and at the right time for you so you're being shown here that it's not about rushing to get anywhere it's not like you know you have a certain destination that you are rushing to get to you are on this ongoing journey and it's about you taking your time with everything so it may be certain things that you may be working on the angels are saying there is no need to rush it's about taking your time you may be working on healing yourself as well there is no need to rush take go slow take your time it's about you know the things that you're learning in the process as you continue to keep moving forward on your path Okay, and then the cards that came out from your Divine Masculine, from the Divine Masculine, the Silence deck. So the first card that I'm seeing here is, I'm so sorry. So your Divine Masculine is apologizing. They want you to know that, you know, they're sorry for everything that has happened. They're sorry for ignoring you, for not speaking to you, for not communicating. They're sorry for the things that they may have said and did, you know, and they are apologizing. And that's what they want you to know today. And they're also saying to you, I don't want to talk to anyone right 
right now. Give me time. So, you know, if they are quiet as well, that's, that would be why they're saying sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Give me time. So it's about understanding that, you know, they're going through this time of rebirth. Sometimes it can be a bit much. You know, there may be some chaos happening in their life. There was the tower card that came out as well. You know, so they're saying to you, there are things happening in, in my life right now. I'm so sorry. You know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't with the, with the reading as always. You know, I'm so sorry there are things going on in my life right now. I don't want to talk to anyone right now. Just give me time. So that's the message that's coming through here from your Divine Masculine. And they're also saying, I'm connecting with my true self. So they are connecting with their true self. As they go through this time of change, you know, they go through this time of rebirth, they are also connecting with their true self. You know, they are learning who they are, connecting more with their true self, which is what will help them as well to be able to move forward towards you as well. And they're also saying, I'm praying for help. So, you know, whatever may be going on in the 3D worlds, the tower cards that came out, they're praying for help. They're also praying for help when it comes to this love with you, their divine feminine. You know, because they were saying with the three of, uh, of swords that, you know, they, they're finding it hard to not be with you. Um, but they are healing. So they're praying for their healing as well. They're praying to have this life with you at the right time as well. So they are letting you know that they're praying for help. So they're speaking to the universe to, uh, to get this help so that they can be able to move forward towards you. And they're also saying to you, I'm frustrated about my life. So they're frustrated about the life that they're living. They want their life to change. You know, they want to live the life with you, their divine feminine. They're frustrated about certain things that may be going on in their 3D world right now. So they're also saying that to you as well. And they're also saying, I'm talking to you telepathically. So they're also talking to you telepathically in all sorts of beautiful, amazing ways. Messages through music, you know, messages, uh, in dreams, you know, all sorts of ways that they're connecting with you. So they're letting you know or even in meditation as well you feel them around you they are talking to you telepathically and they're also saying i'm waiting until i feel better so they're waiting to move forward to you and when they feel better and they are saying this to you they don't want to move forward towards you whilst they're still in a lower energy or negative energy because that will affect you. So they want to feel better in themselves. They want to feel good in themselves so that they can be able to rush forward towards you in a higher vibration to tell you how they feel. So they are saying to you, I'm waiting until I feel better. And when I feel better, I am going to rush forward towards you to tell you of this love that I have for you. So prepare for celebration. It is all coming in. So, you know, that's what's coming in uh, for as we move into this weekend with your divine masculine and the messages that you have for your divine masculine you're saying i belong to you so you're saying to your divine masculine i belong to you and you know that's because you have all that love for your divine masculine i belong to you you are my everything so really beautiful messages that you're sending back as well to your divine masculine and you're also saying i miss you all the time so you're missing your divine masculine as well. And you know, they're finding it hard to not be with you. So you're both missing each other as well. And um, and the last card that's, that came out is your smile heals me. So you're thinking of your divine masculine smile as well, and you're saying your smile heals me. But, you know, really beautiful messages that are coming through here. It's just showing that there are certain things that your divine masculine is going through right now in their own life, you know, as they go through their time of rebirth. But they are moving forward towards you. And fate and destiny has got this moving things forward. And at the right time, they are going to rush forward to tell you how they feel. And they're saying to you, prepare for celebration. So they're just working on themselves right now so that they can be able to move forward towards you because there is going to be that positive eventual outcome so i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light